Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements, looking at some of the lesser known tools that are available in the program. One of my favorite places to look in Photoshop Elements is the library of guided edits that are available in the program. Guided edits take some of the tools that are present in the program and make them much easier to use, integrate some very cool effects very simply. To get to guided edits, just click on the guided tab here in the top center of the program, and it will take whatever picture you have open and apply the guided edit effect to it. Some very cool guided edits in a variety of categories. If we go over here to black and white, we have an option here for a line drawing. So it's going to take a color picture, turn it into a line drawing. Pretty cool. Select that, and we take our picture here and click on, or just follow the prompts. That's all you gotta do in guided edits. So we just click on pencil sketch effect, and voila, there's our pencil sketch effect. Now we can darken that by going down here to the levels button and clicking on that. You unfortunately need to click on it several times. There's no slider here that you can use to increase the intensity, but if you just click on it, you'll get a really nice line drawing that will come out of that background. Isn't that nice? Now you can adjust the opacity layer. That will bring some of the photo back in or bring some of the color back into the picture. I kind of like it the way it is. So that's the line drawing effect here in guided edits. Let's cancel that. If we go to some of the fun guided edits, there are some very fun ones. Down here, there's one called Picture Stack. There it is. To create a picture stack, it's just going to take this picture and break it into smaller photos and make it look like they're just piled on a desk. So let's click on eight pictures. And that's all we gotta do is click on it. The program does the rest. There we go, a photo stack, a stack of several pictures making up your picture. It's a cool little illusion created by the guided edit. So let's cancel that and I'll show you one of my favorites, and that is here in the fun category of edits called Out of Bounds. So we'll click on Out of Bounds. Now, Out of Bounds is going to create a frame for our picture, and the frame is smaller than our picture, but anything that sticks out beyond that frame, we can decide to have it sort of pop out of the background. Let me show you what I mean by that. Click on Add Frame, and we can change this frame to whatever size we want. I kind of like the size and position that it's in right now. Notice that it cuts off the boy's head. Notice that there's, this boy has an arm that sticks out and this girl has a toe that sticks out. The cool thing about this out of bounds effect is that those things are gonna be included in the picture and it will make it look like they're jumping right out of the photo. Let me show you what I mean. We'll click to select this square by clicking on the check mark and click again. And now we can select the selection tool with the selection tool, we're going to select the objects that are outside of the frame. So this little boy's head, we can just drag across there. And he's nicely selected, pretty automatic there. This boy's arm, we'll drag, and it selects it. May have gotten a little too much there. This boy's fingers, his sock, this little girl's hand, We've got a little too much there and her sock. We can, if we've gotten too much, we can always hold down the Alt or the Option key and drag across the things we want to remove. But I think we've got a pretty good selection here. Now, here's where the magic comes in. We click on the Out of Bounds Effect button here on the right-hand side. And there they are. They pop right out of the picture. Isn't that cool? A cool effect, very simply done in guided edits. Now you can add a background gradient to it, you can add drop shadows and other things if you'd like to the picture. I really like it the way it is right there. An out of bounds look that's created with guided edits. So guided edits, they're a lot of fun, uh, well worth exploring. They do some pretty cool effects and make them very simple to do. Now if you want to know more about the guided edits, if you want to know more about all the cool stuff you can do with this program, I hope you'll check out the many tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. Want to know everything about Photoshop Elements? Pick up a copy of the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. I'm Steve. I wrote the book and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.